here's how I understand data. Data. I'm not um, an experienced data analysis, an analyst, an analyst. I do not have a degree in computer science, um, and a lot of my experience with social media has been through recreational use, not not necessarily for work. But the the fun part about my social media use has been that it was always for fun. It was never for work. I'm not getting paid to make this video. Um, I have a theory about Instagram data and how it is infected. How infected Instagram Instagram data can spread. How humans, not AI, can. Uh, engineer their Instagram data web chains in the world. I have a theory that uh, humans do it better than AI. I have a, a scout on a range of Instagram users who may understand what I understand but may not. Um, when I think about the data in Instagram and anything that data could ever touch, like from an Instagram account, like from your Instagram account triangulated with your email account. How many accounts elsewhere on the internet would um, share some data with your Instagram or email? Okay, if you can, can, can triangulate your entire digital footprint between the login for your Instagram account and your phone number, add one email address, you might have many. Add one email address and anything mapped in that triangle can um, bleed into the data of any other triangles in the world operating on Wi-Fi. So I operate on um, Orange County, California Wi-Fi to other counties and other states and people who use private VPNs or international Wi-Fi like in other countries. If you hear this and you see, you see how um, how much distaste I have, distaste I have for Orange County, California Wi-Fi, it, it's, it's all over my face. You can see how um, unsatisfied I am with the service here. You can uh, manipulate the Wi-Fi itself when you're using data. You can also um, use data to attack Wi-Fi. So if there's like an iron dome of Wi-Fi in Orange County, California, that Edward Snowden would call the, the Great Black Wall, um, gatekeeping readers from journalism and um, corralling certain factions of Orange County, California residents in little bubbles where the only data they are accessing in their daily lives um, reconstitutes a fairy tale land of live, laugh, love, positivity, the Jesus of the New Testament, and nothing mentioning how wrathful the God of the Old Testament can be. That's scary. It's not. It's not for the kids. The internet that um. The internet layers that people access here may or may not be international. I think that international Wi-Fi would solve so many problems in the world, especially the ones in China. I think uh, international Wi-Fi would show us that life in Russia is probably very similar to American life. And probably attractive to Americans who would like democracy in America, you know? <laughs> International Wi-Fi would make my conversation with you right now obsolete because if you could, if you could, uh, if I could publish this on International Wi-Fi, that would show me an international re audience, um, and any data they leave behind if they view this, I'd feel really good about myself. I'd have such a big ego. Um, I don't need it right now. 
I'm just using this little uh, tool to record myself for myself. I was saying that some problems in China could be resolved if we had international Wi-Fi. In Orange County, California, I can't access that. So I have to think about what I can do with my own use of data to push through the Iron Dome, the black wall of Orange County, California, Wi-Fi. And I have to monitor how much that Iron Dome of polluted evil Wi-Fi could affect me or my life. I'm talking about me, my mind, and my body, or my life. If you need to trace what my body does in this world with data, you have to locate my body. That's one. GPS is pretty easy. You can find my GPS location with my ass uh, anytime. I, got, I have an, an electronic device with me anytime. It can show you my GPS activity. But then for healthcare, you need to you need a hack system. So you need to hack Cal Optima, Melody Health, Planned Parenthood, a cardiologist, a chiropractor, and their networks with Saint Joe or Saint Providence Mission Hospital, the the Catholic hospitals, okay, not the private um, secular hospitals. Um, the system in there. Um, religious institutions is pretty broken, but I mean, being a Republican, I have some conservative views that anchor me in a fundamental values that resonate with the Christians in this world. There are a lot of those. If you wanted to find out what was going on with my body through the, through data, you'd look at my healthcare records, and then um, you'd put those up on a whiteboard and play uh, my social media on a screen right next to it. Draw some connections, name some people. Ooh, this anger right here—it's making her. Her heart murmur, act up. Oh, if we can trace any sort of targeted activity of um, Wi-Fi, malicious Wi-Fi, spyware, electronic um, radioactivity, magnetic pull, does it have to do with the weather? Um, at what phase is the moon? How much electricity is coursing through the house? How many Bluetooth devices can connect to her iPad? How many um, other Instagram accounts are hacking her Instagram account? Who targets this one girl with that much effort and energy on the Wi-Fi? Why? Well, what I wanted to say with this video about data is that I believe data is like if you take a look at every fight that's going on with every navy from every country, especially the one in the um, the pirate shoal between the uh, Philippines and China, um, water is always it's always there. You can't really claim water. It's gonna flow from ocean to river to lake um, to pipe, and you're never gonna see the same water twice. So data is just like that. If you have a flow of data from something poisoned to something pure, you have to believe in the water of data because it's possible to purify poison from data. You just dilute it. You dilute it with more and more reach. International Wi-Fi would uh, help me calm down because it would put a lot of people I hate in jail now that the FBI can FISA your pizza. So whenever that happens, um, call me. It might happen tomorrow. Two voices will be together in the flesh. That's in data too.